I disagree with the castle statement. I think you should always aim for the top. Because, uh, you know, the saying is, um, if you shoot for the stars, uh, you may not reach them, but you may land on the moon at least, you know? So I think settling for the middle of the pack would be the wrong thing to do. We have uh, the names, we have the players. We're supposed to be a lot better than we are. And it's so frustrating to me to, like, I mean, to even play right now if we would be uh, aiming for the middle of the pack. I'm not here to play for the middle of the pack, no matter what, you know. 100 Thieves is a team trying to climb out of 10th place. They've made some adjustments. You saw Amazing there. They've been talking up his communication with the team, and this is supposed to change the way that they operate. He is a new piece that they have to fit into this team very quickly if they want to find those results to actually climb out of 10th. I mean, we're supposed to be a good overall team, right? We have Sunday on top nine, who's a perennial contender for the best top in NA. We have Bang, who's the two-time world champion. I guess, yeah. I am one world finalist, so honestly, like it's not really uh, happening, right? We're not really doing anything. We're just doing nothing, and after like 20 minutes, we're like, oh fuck, we're actually losing this game. What do we do? So it takes us 20 minutes to actually play the game. So I think our team identity is kind of killed by the fact that we don't play for the first 20 minutes on stage. Away, flash or not, you don't escape that one, and a hundred thieves will not escape TL. Team Liquid will take them down. Most upsetting thing about this game, guys, was literally like, yeah, we never had. We're resetting, and we're gonna go this next objective. We like never had that. So chocolates, I really gotta get that right. You make sure we're resetting, or you make sure people aren't resetting. You make sure you call next objective. Make sure we're going for the next objective. So mistakes I don't see in scrims because in scrims you guys say we're gonna take top tower right now and then you guys go do it. On stage you guys go, they took Drake, I'm gonna hit top tower. So they just defend it. So we gotta commit to our place. We gotta be really loud. Can we fix that for tomorrow? Tomorrow our opponents are easier, so they won't disrespect us like. Yeah. Let's go! But I want us to do what we're, we've been doing in scrims. We improved a lot. I don't think we have to show that today. I want to show you have right. world champion as well as multiple LCS champions on that roster. And yet, again, this idea that at peak performance, all of those guys should be capable of achieving X. And now 10 months later, I think we have to accept that this is a 10th place team and start evaluating them with that in mind. And it puts a very different light onto the team and the progress they've made. Right, and I think it's important not just as the people in the LCS, but as fans. Obviously a big performance issue. Um, I think in scrims it hasn't been too bad performance-wise, but when we get to stage something like has been drastically changing. Decisions. Walk off the stage knowing you competed one way or the other. Uh, keep reiterating, reiterating shot cards. Like Keep focus on those. Make sure that we call out rounds. Make sure that we call out what we have to do at all times. And early game. Make sure to do what we said, okay? One, two, three, thieves? Yeah. Thief. And we're going up? Yeah, we're going up. All right. One, two, three, thieves! That works. There's only five today. Hello and welcome back for our next matchup of the day, which pits 100 thieves opposite Clutch Gaming. I mean, match day is, you know, more intensity. This is when you, you know, put out your best performance that you want to show. So I think we just got to be able to come together as a brotherhood on stage and work through our problem solving and you know, don't be afraid. Yep. Yeah, Ben's here. And it's going to be Skarner or Lee Sin. <laughs> wow, exactly what you wrote on the board. Yeah, exactly. Let's do it, lads. Let's see if it works out, boys. Hey, I'm Sunny Skarner, Sunny Skarner. Hey, we can we can go slowly, go slowly. They may slowly, 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 they TP. A lot of our plays are hesitant. We don't go, go at the wrong time, go too late, and there's no like you know confidence in like, like let's do this. So, in scrims, we definitely have that going for us. Once we just figure out how to transition it and have our identity on, you know, our match day, I mean, we'll be cool. Last play, four v five, four v five. I'm gonna get out. Maybe. I sped you, sped you, sped you. Okay, I'm coming back now. Five seconds. Wait for me. Uh, Max gone. You need to talk! It's important. Just hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it if we can, hit it if we can. Alright, let's go. And Clutch Gaming will get that win!
Okay. Identity of the team, don't think we really have one right now. We're in the process of finding it. And as rough as it's been, I mean, we're trying. Not much else to do other than look up. So we're already at the bottom of the pit. <laughs> I don't think it goes any deeper. Do got a week off for, and I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to find something. Well, TP's top are down. I'm gonna for Chuck here. We should chuck them before Jake. Yeah. Just gonna even, even three, three, three. I don't know why exactly should be going up I don't see Jace right now. I have to again. If they come here, they give me major. Jace is mad. I read this thing. They don't know what channel is either. Mid no flash. Well, that's a day. Mid no here. I'm not gonna come here. I don't feel any pressure at this point. The only pressure I feel is like my own pride and sense of pride, you know? I don't want to be a f***ing bottom tier team. I don't want to be a f***ing bottom tier player, right? That's not what I, what I am and who I am and what I want to be, so... Is that, is that it? Is that your goal? So... Swapping players suck. I really do not enjoy or want to or like any kind of player swaps. Even, even in situations where it feels like necessary, it still feels really wrong. My coaching is like, you need kind of unconditional belief in your players that they can do this and they can improve. And even when players are in ruts, like I'm really focused on the silver lining of how I can get them out or what they will look when they're out. So that's kind of my motivation for working with players that are you know, having struggles or troubles because I believe there is a you know, light at the end of the tunnel. And when you make a swap, it's, it's almost like contradicting your beliefs because you're, you're saying like, okay, I, I don't see this light anymore. So we need to try someone else. Even in times where using you know, the bench as a motivator, it still feels the same. Like I'm really contradicting myself and I maybe don't believe in them. And that, that's what makes it so hard. <laughs> That's a W, boys. That's a dub. Yeah. 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 That's a dub. 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 That's a dub going into this week by doing these two swaps. Starting 04 is just like, all right, I wanted to make sure everyone knows, like, I feel like I've been through worse in my life. So you guys can count us out and not watch our games and assume we'll just finish at the bottom, but I just kind of wanted to reaffirm that it's not the end for us and we're still gonna try everything.